Shri Pandey from Greedy Studying Business Academy and this is my little sister. Hi everyone, my name is Shri Pandey. I am studying Hustle in Business Academy. Welcome to another video of my channel, Kodan Business Shudu. Today, we are going to be seeing a gaming application known as Bubble Shooter. The objective of the game is to shoot the bubbles from the lower part of the screen in order to explode the bubbles in the upper part of the screen. To do so, we should at least match three bubbles in the same color. Today, we are going to be seeing how the app works and its designing part. Now, I am on my computer. Let's quickly see the designing part and how the app works of the Bubble Shooter gaming application in the Scratch platform. So, the people who are new for the Scratch can simply go on to the Scratch website. You can give join Scratch and give your username, create a password, and that's it. You're in. Uh, the, yeah, there's other steps too. There'll be verification and other things which you're going to be following. But you are already signed it. You can simply uh, give sign in and sign in with username and password, and you'll be in the screen. Uh, I've already signed in. And here, as you see, you can, uh, if you're new to Scratch, you can go on, go to tutorials, and do a basic project. And everything. now I'm going to be simply going to explain the platform wise. You can also remix projects. So now let me rename the projects. I'm just giving a sample. Okay, so let's uh, let's. I'm just, I've created this uh, thing just to show how the interface looks like and what each component does like in this interface. So right here. Now, as you see, you can see something called a green flag and something a red thing here and a green thing here. So when I click this, that starts. When I click this, that stops. Isn't that easy? Yeah, but you, you're going to be coding for that in the event section. There's something called blocks here. There will be motion, looks, sounds, events, control, sensing, operators, variables, and you can create your own blocks. So right here, you can give event and give when this is clicked and do your programming as per. And I click this, this should move here or they should jump or they should tell a hi or there'll be another character will be telling a hi, something like that you can do. So the basic thing is when the flag, when I click that. Yeah. And other things are the sprite, of course, the sprite. So you can create how much of a sprite you want. Like suppose choose a sprite I want. Okay, let's give Abby for right now. Um, so right here but i want this to be in the opposite side to be facing this side you can simply go to the costumes and flip it yeah and you can position it however you want but have you noticed one thing the background looks too plain right you want something going on there like a basketball court a beach a forest etc can simply give choose a background but for everything for even a sprite you all, all always have something called upload a sprite where you can upload your own sprite or paint it i'm going to be choosing a background like let's give it a beach yeah now as you see i've explained this part and here you can either move it like this or position it like with these help, but I guess moving is better. So right here, there's something called sounds. In sounds, there are, if you ch you're choosing the character from the sprite itself, in, from the scratch platform itself, then you'll always get a sound for each character. Like there's a sound for this and there's a sound for this. So. And here there are options such as faster and slower, like you can slow the sound. And fast. And you can make it louder, softer, you can do mute, you can mute the sound, you can fade in, fade out, reverse, and in a robot voice, etc. There are many things. And you can also you can have a record your voice uh, sound, like you can record your voice and do it and you can upload a sound suppose i'm going to choose a sound choose a sound 
Oh, let's go. A dog. So yeah. So as you see, there's a dog. Okay, I didn't mean to make the human sound as dog, but still, I'm just doing it to explain you. So you can use any sound you want. Make it slower, faster, etc. So these are the things, the main character uh, components we are going to be seeing. And for each thing, suppose this sprite, if I click, this is a separate coding. Suppose I want this to say hi to her. Then what I'm going to be doing, choosing this and doing the programming part here. If, if I want the Abby to say hi for this, then I should choose this and do the programming for this. Okay. So now it's like screens, like in Codalure and everything we saw in Codalure in the My Team App Inventor. We use screens by clicking in different screens and doing a programming for that. But in Scratch, like for each character, we are going to be doing each program. I'm going to be explaining the thing, but before explaining, let's see how the app actually works. Yeah, so first you're going to be clicking it, it will get started. So yeah, what is this game? First, let's see how is the game interface and what is this game, first of all. And I guess I know that most of you will know are and familiar with, uh, with this game and I referred this game with a different person and uh, with a uh, platform, I referred this game and did it. So here, and after I click this, there are like 10 levels for this game application. So suppose you can use, if I want to shoot it, at least I need three of this, uh, three bubbles of the same color. Suppose I want to choose uh, shoot the yellow in this. I can shoot it because there are more than three, right? So I want to shoot it. You can either shoot it directly or like this. So that's how we're going to be doing. Suppose uh, if I just shoot the bubble right here, that doesn't make sense. Like if I again shoot it here. They are only two, so it will not get burst. It'll it'll only get bursted only if they are more than like more than at least three, suppose. Right, click this. Now it'll get bursted. More than three, anything. Like it'll it'll burst or explode. Yeah. So like this, you can go on play your game. And there are 10 levels. And for each level, there the difficulty increases. Like suppose. As you see in the first level, everything was so straight. Like you can just click it and that'll get exploded. Click it and that'll get exploded. Here is it's a little bit tricky in a different shape. Now, as you see, I'm in the third level. Now, as you see, it's tricky because there's no red pieces and it's inside right here. So that's how in each level it's, it'll get trickier. I'll be giving the link of the application where you can uh, remix of your own or try playing it. Like this, you can go on. And I do not want to waste my time playing the game. Let's quickly go back. So this is the designing interface. We have a score, we have a level, and we do have here where like a thing where it moves to the other ball, right? And here, if I am out of ball, suppose. If you burst it, it's fine. But if, we, if you're not bursting it and wasting it, If you're like, will be this is the count of the number of chances. You'll mostly have like 32 chances. And if you waste it, like it'll get reduced and there'll be a sign as you're out of the bubbles. And you should start the level again. 
don't worry you should not you can you, you do not want to start the whole game again so right here if you see like there's something like a bomb like thing like if i just click on it it doesn't matter what color you have it'll just explode if sometimes when you don't have like the you have uh, yellow right here but now i don't have any yellow but i want these things to get you know that should be exploded you can simply just paste it on the ball the exploding thing and, and this comes only from the fourth lap yeah let's now stop yeah so now in the designing as you see i've had now uh, you can have a thing known as game the avatar which is the cat the bubble the aim the save the border the boundary the numbers and watch more for each thing you're going to be uh, doing the uh, programming separately which i'm going to be explaining in the next video and I'll, as i said i'll be giving a link where you can click and uh, give the game a try and also see the uh, coding because this it's a lot of coding and as you see you can change your sounds the costumes and everything for i'll be giving the link as i said so the backgrounds are three backgrounds which is, which are the desert the woods and the underwater it's like our adventure game like they they uh, it'll be like a desert woods and underwater that's the theme not exactly game that's the theme of it and as you see this is the whole part of designing and i've added the sample of scratch just to explain you what are the backdrops and how to add it or how to add the sound the costumes and everything so right uh, in my next video you'd be seeing the programming part so that's it. the designing is done please wait for my next video to see the programming part of that i hope you enjoyed the video so please don't forget to like share and comment to my video and subscribe my channel till then see you in the next video bye bye, bye.